Hello everybody, it's me Samco Group Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to use and install the Bleeding Mobs plugin for Bucket. So this plugin will basically allow blood effects without a client side mod uh, whenever a, a entity is just hurt like a, a monster or a player. So I'm going to go over how to use and install this. So you want to download it from the download link which will be provided in the description. Uh, I've already done that, drag it into your plugins directory start the server up and we should see bleeding mobs version 3.3 or whatever version loading have fun uh, go to plugins bleeding mobs and there should be a config I'm going to quickly go over the configuration okay so starting at the top enable because true just sets whether uh, the plugin is enabled or not and the max particles is how much particles of blood uh, on the server at any one time so if it's causing too much lag which it shouldn't really do you can set that down a bit or you can even increase that if you want more blood uh, bleed when cancelled you can also set to true or false and now we have all the sections for whenever an entity is damaged so you have death, attack, uh, fall, projectile or whatnot. so I'm just going to over one and it's pretty much all the same for the rest of them so there's a chance for a wall uh, being dropped and that's from 0 to 100 so that will be a 40% chance and then the bone chance is 12% so this is when someone dies it has these particles of bones which will come up and then this is how long the particles life will uh, live for so 5 to 15 uh, somewhere in between those two um, time limits uh, the colour of the wall which will be red but you can change its colour I mean if you wanted blue blood for instance you could change it to blue whether or not it stains the floor so there will be blood effect on the floor uh, you can set that to true or false uh, bone life you can set that to 0 to 100 uh, stain life these again these are all the uh, time variables and then how much of them to 25 to 35 which is a random integer between those uh, saturated materials, these are the materials that will soak up blood, so stone, grass, double step, wall, all those sort of things. You can add more, you can take away them. And then the particle material, which will be redstone in this case. And that's the same for pretty much all of them. Uh, there's also creepers as well. Instead of creepers having the blood effect, they have a sulfur, for instance. Skeletons have redstone, and Edmund, Endermans have coal, and Ender Dragon has coal and the chickens have feathers but so you can change that to how you like and uh, or not so I'm gonna go in game now and we're gonna show you how it works hello everybody now join me in game while I'll be showing you the bleeding mobs plugin in game so just, just gonna show you how the general effect does and then I'll go over the commands so you see this nice innocent little cow I'm gonna punch it up as you can see blood and bones fall off it when I attack it and you can see the redstone effect makes it look like it's uh, bleeding and you can see all the bloods being stained on the floor and eventually this will disappear as you can see and I can't pick up the bones and whatnot. and there you are, I killed it so that's how the general effect works, it also works for full damage I believe as well Set my game mode, get on the tree, and I'm gonna jump off it. So, uh, there you go, a bit of blood down on the floor there. So, that's how the general plugin works. I just want to see with, uh, with chickens as we defined it, is feathers, and it's generally a lot of fun. I, like, I, quite, I quite like it. Yeah, it's, it's good, I like it, it's one of my favourite ones but now I'm going to go over the config so first one is bleeding mobs space info and it will show you if it's enabled or not and max particles and then what uh, worlds it's active on you can also reload bleeding mobs the config file will be bleeding mobs space reload and then that will reload the plugin. We can also toggle, so leading mobs toggle, 
and now it's disabled so when I see when I hit the squid no blood comes off I can turn it back on by doing the same thing leaving the mobs there we go some uh, love came out of it then we can also toggle certain worlds by doing bleeding mobs toggle hyphen world and then the world name so for instance the world I mean it's called world uh, for instance you may not want the bleeding effect to be in uh, uh, the nether for instance so you can turn it off in certain worlds and I think this is be really, really good for like RPG servers uh, it has a little bit more effect to the to the game and uh, I just really like it and we just toggle it back on by doing the same command and now we're enabled blood again uh, we can also set the max number of particles in game by doing bleeding mobs set max particles and then the number so we can get like a thousand right, so one so now right, we actually hit the chicken there you go, only one feather came out. And you can also set that up much higher or not. And then we can also set whether bleeding is uh, is cancelled. So so bleeding set bleed when cancelled. Basically I've I typed that in wrong, but say a plugin like Essentials has God mode and the bleeding effect is still going on. It if the event or the damage event is cancelled by Essentials in this case, by the god mode, it wouldn't, it won't bleed. So if there's any errors like that, you can uh, turn the bleed when cancelled on. And you can also modify certain types in game. And I'm not going to go over all of them because I've just gone over the config. But I'm going to give you an example. So you can do bleeding mobs. Set the type. So let's have creeper. Uh, and then we can choose a config. So let's do stains floor and then let's do false so now the creeper whenever I hit a creeper, creeper it won't stain the floor so look that's stained the floor there when I hit the uh, chicken if I was to do that with a creeper I haven't found one recently but uh, that would uh, change the bleeding on the floor so uh, thanks for watching uh, I hope this has been a cool tutorial I haven't done one in ages it's been really busy with exams and whatnot. So I apologise for that and so is Torrent. Uh, we'll hopefully be doing some more, we'll try to do some more. Uh, but yeah, this has been the Bleeding Mobs plugin. Probably really good for RPG servers. Uh, and yeah, I, I really like it. So uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been me, Sam Gaming, signing out.